Hello Longfellow students, my name is Miss Stephanie and I am a new GO and I am working with 5th graders. 5th graders, I know we haven't met, but hopefully soon. And hope you are all staying healthy, you're staying active, and you're staying safe. And also hope you are doing your homework as well. So today I have a outdoor activity for you and your other people to join in. So this game is called Red Light, Green Light. Now, how many of you have heard of this game? Good, a few of you. If you haven't, don't worry. I'm sure you'll enjoy this game. So, the objective of this game is students will learn to use their motor skills to move from one end to another while trying not to start from the starting point. Alright, so first of all, let's go over the materials you're going to need. You don't need all of these materials. Whatever you have at your house, you could use. Alright, so first of all, you're going to need some paper. You could use plain paper, or you could use lined paper, or you could even use construction paper. So I have here construction paper. If you do have construction paper, go ahead and get the color red, yellow, and green. Okay? If you also have foam, you could get foam, use the red, the green color, and the yellow color. Now, the other materials you're going to need is glue. It could be white glue, clear glue, any glue. Also, markers. You're going to need a red marker, a green marker, and a yellow marker. Or you could use crayons. Green crayon, red crayon, and yellow crayon. Or color pencils. Red color pencil, green color pencil, and yellow color pencil. Or girls who like to be nice and pretty, if you have glitter, you're welcome to use glitter. Get the colors green, red, and yellow. If you don't have yellow, you could use gold. Or you could also, if you have these as well, they could be colored or plain. Wooden sticks. These are already colored. If you have colored, great. Go ahead and take out a green, a yellow, and a red. If you don't have them colored, don't worry. You could color them or however you want. Or if you don't have any, not a problem. Alright, so what you're going to do next with the construction paper is you're going to go ahead and cut out a big circle. Big circle enough for other people to see. So I have here a yellow paper, which will probably be bigger than mine, so I'll tell you that. And what you could do is you could either leave it blank or you could write yellow in front, or you could write slow. Now same thing with the green. You could either leave it blank, or you could write green, or you could write go. And for the red, you could, again, blank, red, or stop. Now, if you do have the wooden sticks, you are welcome to go ahead and place them to make your own sign. Go ahead and use the glue stick whichever type of glue you have and go ahead and just glue it and you can make your own stop sign if you don't have it don't worry like I said just make sure you have the papers big enough for you to use also if you have the foams you could definitely use this you don't have to do anything with them you could just leave them blank and perfect for it to see far away all right so now so now you have your material. So I'll give you time to go ahead and decorate your stop signs and your traffic signals. Alright. Alright, perfect. You finish your signs. Now, I will go ahead and explain a little bit of the game. Then I will demonstrate how to play it. So, for this game requires a few people. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but it doesn't have to be too small either. 
You could also invite your parents, your cousins, your siblings, whoever wants to join in is welcome to. So go ahead and gather them around, see who wants to play, and then come back. Perfect, you gathered the people you want to join in. Now, also, if you might want to wear pants because this will require to have you maybe falling down so I don't want you to get hurt so go ahead if you need to change go ahead and change perfect you change awesome all right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one person it could be you it could be a parent it could be a cousin it could be a sibling to be the traffic signal so, whoever you choose to be the traffic signal are going to have your signs, the signs either these or these that you decorated, and you're going to give it to them, okay? Now, the other people who are joining in are going to be also doing something else. So. Next, go ahead and go and look for a big area where you could go ahead and be able to play this. If it's indoor, just make sure it's enough space, but not too small that you're going to need to um, move around. If it's big area, like outside, perfect. So, the whole game of this is... The traffic signal is going to go and stand on one end while the other people are going to stand on another end. You are both going to want to be part maybe 15 to 20 feet. So I will let you go ahead and find an area and go ahead and move far away from each other. Perfect. You found an area and you are very good part. Now, the person that you chose to be the traffic signal is gonna yell out green light. Now green light means to go. <clears throat> so when the person yells out green light, the other side's gonna run and then they could her signal like it's a yellow light a yellow light means to slow down and then they could say red light which means to stop or they could say all the three colors really fast or they could switch them up so they could say green light red light okay and you might not even hear the yellow light so the yellow light to you is optional if you want to put that in so but here's the thing, whoever gets to the traffic signal light is going to be the next traffic signal light. But if the traffic signal light says red light and you move or you fall down or you don't stop on time, the traffic signal light is going to tell you to go to the starting point. Now it's not so much to whoever gets to this, reach the traffic signal light, but it's more of who has more control, more balance, and who listens to the traffic signals. So, I know it's a, and you could also change up the way you say the traffic signal lights. So for example, let's say the traffic signal light says green lights. You could walk on a green light. Then they say red light. You could maybe stop at a green light. And then when it says yellow light, maybe you could hop on a yellow light. Or if it says green light, you could skip on a green light. You can jump on a yellow light. And then obviously for red, you just have to stop before the traffic signal turns around. So, I know it's a lot of 
listening and trying to figure out what Miss Stephanie is saying. But now I will go ahead and demonstrate to you how exactly this game is. Alright, so go ahead and go outside or go inside and then we, I will show you how this game is. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. And then after the game is played, I will go ahead and do a wrap up. And I also want you guys to have a journal, either a, a notebook or a piece of paper. And don't make sure to not throw those papers away or the journal away because when you come back to see me, I will give you a something from a raffle ticket or a treasure box. So you guys need to show me those papers that you saw my video and that you participated the videos. So at the end, I will have a question to ask you if you enjoyed the game or not or something about related to the game. All right, Longfellow students. So let's go ahead and go outside and I will now go ahead and show you to demonstrate the game. All right, let's go. All right, so when I say green light, you guys are gonna either run, you could either skip, you could either hop, you could either jump, whatever you wanna do on green light. Now when I say yellow light, you guys are gonna slow down. And then when I say red light, that means you're gonna stop. But here's the thing, before I turn around, if I see any of you fall down or you guys don't stop on time, then I'm gonna tell you guys to go and start over. And then we'll go ahead and continue with the game. Green light. Green light. Yellow light. Yellow light. Green light. Red light. Yellow light. to come and meet the traffic signal light without falling down and he was able to follow the instructions whereas her she had to start over because she didn't stop on time when I turned around on the red light so she had to start over to the starting point but she was close enough to almost meet the traffic signal light so now since he was the winner he will be the next traffic signal light Green light. Red light. Yellow light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Yeah, you move. Go back. <laughs> Green light. Yellow light. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I have to do another one. <laughs> Where are so, you? in this case, I won the game because I reached the traffic signal lights. So now I will be the traffic signal. 
All right, students. Well, that's how you play red light, green light. I hope you will enjoy it. You could play with your family and friends. All right, students. So if you could do me a favor and write on your journal what you experienced of this game. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.